Hey, what's up, fish dude? Ryan Max Cichlids. Doing another video. It's been about a month since I've done a video. Uh, been real busy. Been getting ready to move. So that's exciting. That's some new news. Um, getting my own fish room, too. So that's, you know, something that's not my bedroom. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, one reason why I've been making a lot of videos is because I've been having some problems here in the fish room. I have a lot of sick and injured fish. But, uh, you know, I'm getting through it. Most of my fish are doing a little better now. Just kind of want to go run through, you know, what fish I have in quarantine right now and some of the aggression issues and some of the illnesses I've had. But also, you know, I've had some really good breeding going on with my OBs. And, you know, I just wanted to give everybody a quick update on what I've been up to. Uh, you no know, big plans for the new fish room. Going to be more tanks, you know, species-only tanks and stuff like that. Should be moving in about two, three weeks. So it might be, I don't know, two, three weeks till I make a video or something like that. But uh, please stay tuned. Uh, I want to say thank you to all my new subs and all those who have already subbed and continue to watch and support my channel. So uh, let's see some fish. So we're going to start down here first. Let me turn the light on. This is a lemon jake who I've had for some time. If he'll turn for me. He's just in a little five gallon. He's got a bum eye. Uh, it's on the other side. He always points that way. I've been treating him. Come on, dude. Oh, he's got a bum eye. I've been treating him and you know, frequent water changes and you know, it doesn't seem to be getting any better. There you go. See his eye there. Very cloudy. I think it's past the point of no return. But uh, yeah, it's one of my sick fish. So let's go up to here. This is my big uh, albino Ali. He is doing much better. He had an internal, an internal parasite and his stomach was extremely, extremely sunken. But he's doing much better. Uh, I treated him with some Metro, and I'm feeding him two times a day, a very thick protein diet. Yeah, it's already starting to come down a little bit, but he's doing much better. Another couple weeks in here, I think he's going to be all right. Another sick guy. This is my star sapphire. Uh, he's also got a bum eye. No, he's been treated and water changed and everything like that, and, you know, it doesn't seem to be getting any better. I hope he's... No, it doesn't lose his eye because he is absolutely a stunning, stunning fish. But uh, I've been treating him with, I've tried a bunch of different things with him, but uh, nothing seems to quite work. You know, uh, fungus cure and, you know, um, fritz aquatics uh, stuff and you now frequent water changes. So I hope he pulls through. Uh, down here, this is an aggression issue. This is my be beautiful. Madoka Whitelip, who is healing up nicely after getting his butt kicked by my Bucochromus Rorosai Yellow, who is right there, who I thought was a female for a very long time, who is not. He is a male, and he's an absolute jerk. So let's go on to the 75. One of my peacocks is sick. Uh, I think it's also due to aggression, and he hasn't been eating, so I think he got a parasite. This is my Chalumba. I'm out of quarantine tank, so he's hanging in this basket right now. He's doing a little better. He's got a little, little sunken belly, but he is, uh, he's on the mend a little bit. But he was also an absolutely beautiful specimen. I'm trying to free up some quarantine space to uh, get him by himself. Hope I can do that soon. Quick peek at the peacock tank. Other than that, you know, most of my fish are doing pretty good. But uh, it's all just kind of seemed, came real fast and real hard. I had a bunch of fish get sick and beat up all at once. You know, I've been having a little problem with my, uh, with my, Fossil Commerce from status, he always kind of moving his mouth and breathing a little heavy. No, 
but he's eating and doing fine and everything like that. I've done a lot of research. I guess it's pretty natural for them to do that because they're sand sifters. But uh, that's what's going on. Quick show of the 125. But uh, thanks for sticking in there with me and uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And you know, any suggestions on how I can treat any of these fish, especially the guys with the iCloud, would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Uh, hope everyone's well out there. Hope you're fishing well. That's enough out of me. Right back out. Peace.